before I play the video, I just want to say um, it was running at a smooth 60 frames a second for me, but OBS made the video look kind of poo and run at a really low frame rate, but it was running at a smooth 60 frames a second for me. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Hello, hello, welcome back to Flute Salad. Welcome to Sonic Onset Adventure Public Test Build. Now, the developers of this put a thing out on Twitter and they were like, hey, there's the first public test build. Can you test it and give us feedback? So, I'm gonna do that. Let's go. So, I did have a little play around beforehand, um, just to kind of get the controls down. And I do have to say, I think this is really nice for the most part. Um, you can roll like this, I discovered the amount of, I, I, I think I interacted with one of the devs on Twitter, um, the amount of, like, effect that covers Sonic's jump like that, when he's jumping and rolling, etc., is dependent on how fast you go, which I think is really nice, because it's a really good way to gauge speed. Um, for example, whoop, going down here, whoops, not going down there, going down here, Go on, Sonic, make it actually this time. Whoa, look at that. That's such a nice way to show you how fast you're going. Um, this is actually my second attempt of recording this video because I lost the footage like a fool. Um, so I'm repeating most of what I say. So, but, mm, uh, like, the, the controls were really nice. I think it's going around when you turn around corners like that. I think you lose a little too much speed like that. He practically just stops. And you have to work it all the way back up again. Um, but obviously you can just use your spin dash to get it all back. Um, I think it, it's really good, actually, for the most part. Um, apart from that small issue of... Uh, of the... Um, speed being lost as you turn quite so severely. I think it's really nice. I did mention that maybe the jump feels a little strange. It feels like you maybe come down a little fast. You go, oh... Band down, like, really fast. Like, the up's really slow, and then the down's really fast. Again, maybe that's just me and a skill issue on my part. You can do that, which is sick. Um, and opens up a lot of potential for things and levels and stuff. Boom. Boom. Okay, but less less bad than me. Um, it's, it's, it's really fun to control. Um, a bounce feels good. The spin dash, whoops, the spin dash feels good. Obviously you can chain all this stuff together. Whoa! And <laughs> it's, it's, it is, it is super fun. Actually, you can, you know, there's a lot of potential to chain stuff together. Another thing I had was loops feel a little funky because you can't really go around them. Partly because there's no camera change. Um, also, I think I think there needs to be a level of automation on loops. Um, because, I mean, stuff like that is just going to happen. You're just going to get launched off all the time if there's none. Um, but I think, I think Sonic does feel really good to control for the most part. I always feel like I am in control, which is good stuff. I mean, stuff like this. Right, you see, like, I don't know quite how I should be like moving him to to get round them um you see even with a, a thing it's quite hard to yeah i mean it's quite hard to get around like all these loops and things all the way around um obviously then because you can lose a lot of speed oh there you go we did it that time see that was nice um yeah he feels really good to control and i like this for the most part Right, my favourite thing is that effect coming around the the ball. I'm gonna be honest. Whoever came up with that idea, you are literally a genius. Like that. That's really super nice. Um, the rails don't work. I don't know if that's just me or if the rails just don't work because he just doesn't clip on them. Even when like the one down there, and then inside that loop and also at the top of there, he wouldn't um go on them for me for some reason. Maybe that's a skill issue. But either way, it's still a still a thing. Whee! But yeah, it's really fun to control and I love the speed coming down, the effect coming down on the speed. I think that is actually a work of genius. Um, 
yeah, I it's 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 really good. So aside from the few nitpicks I mentioned here and there, um, about maybe the jump feels a little strange. And down now. And down now. Um he just crouched. How did I do that? I don't know how I did that. That also looks a little strange as he comes up the jump, his legs just flick round. But again, these are all things that can be just tightened up. I lo I really love uh, jump animations where it's Sonic doing a jump rather than just a aura. So I love being able to see him in there. So I, I love that. Um yeah, this is it is it's really good actually. Um whoops, I missed that. Uh I did also mention in the first attempt of making the video maybe a homing reticle might be nice, or at least the option for one, because I'm a awful at knowing ah, at knowing when things are like in line and whatnot. But aside from those few nitpicks it is really fun to control. The spin dash being able to change together like that. Whoa, you see how much height we get there. It's great. Um, this kick has a lot of potential. Um, and I love that. Um, yeah, I mean, even when we're in a ball, you see how much I'm in control. So it's... Room like that, you see, you, uh, being able to tightly go around corners like that, even when you're in ball form and stuff, really nice. Um, overall, this is really good. There's obviously a few things to be tightened up, but I mean, it is the very first um, public demo, so obviously, you know, it's not finished. But aside from maybe a few errors trying to get around the loops and stuff. Um, it's really good. Keep up the good work. And I'll look forward to seeing more of this in the future. God, that is really fun, to be fair. Whee! <laughs>